hydroponic farm destroyed. Ooh, that's a strategic target. I offer you a gift. Adamantium armor. No, I don't want your crappy gift. Just die in a plasma fire, please. He has good armor. No doubt about that. Okay. Maybe we could research fuel cells in case we happen to. There's one that has infinite range, so and it updates automatically, so we'll destroy a supercomputer. I think we have big enough feet so we can auto fight, auto fight all except against all large enemy fleets. This is basically a cleanup process at this point. And we have one big advantage on our side. That's because we inv invested heavily in better engines and the inertial uh, dampening, what, whatever it was that increases our defenses. We also had gained in a lot of initiative and shipped with the greatest initiative, moved before, shipped with lower initiative. So, what the real advantage of that is that we'll have the first turn to fire. And with this much firepower, we can clean up most of the enemy firepower before they ever have even time to act. So that it's another synergy with the shield-based defense tactic, and which I really like because the fight it might seem like a bit boring because the fight ends before there is a fight. But that's sort of the point. If we would engage another fleet of similar capabilities inside, it would be a huge advantage for our side to move first. And that's the whole point. interested in armor, we're going with shield, we just want to go to the unlimited range fuel cell as fast as possible, so we don't have to use on those output chips. Or if they get destroyed, we can just continue on anyway. Our fleet, oh, now we have a fleet, but we are much larger, so it won't make a difference. We'll at least fight. What kind of ships they have? Yeah, they have decent weapons, but crap computer, crap shield. They haven't upgraded these ships in a long while. Yeah, I can put it on auto. This won't last long. They simply don't have the hit points to withstand even one turn of this plasma fire. Shield is good to have, but against plasma weapons, you need a better shield. Yeah, they clean up the missiles too. This is a plasma cannons when you have the continuous version. They are a great, great overall weapon. You can defeat them with a few things, but. It's really one of the first really solid overall weapons that you can win the game with. If you ever see enemies having it, you 
you can start to worry. It's it's about the level of tech that you can't simply can't take wisely anymore. No matter how powerful you are. Bombs away, trouble. Pokemon star base destroyed. And now we have reached it. Now we can still go there. So we'll have to make an outpost there while we clean up the northern part of the map. Hello. Goodbye. Pokemon star base. Destroyed. Okay, get an outpost. Let's go to Cold Land, everyone. And it's over. Take the armor. At least it gets upgraded to our ta star bases. Clock on star base destroyed. That's nice, but it's a bit too random still. It's they're destroying star bases on the side of the world that might be decent on. So again, even with this massive advantage, it's still not useful. Only for tech. I guess it has the advantage that even if you are not the technology leader in any game, or in a game, or one reason or another, you can as you can sort of latch on to some other else to keep up. Or if they are up silence, you can get everything, keep them alive and let them research and get every technology. Yeah. Star bases simply aren't good enough at this point. You you need you need to have at least battle station at minimum to even encounter a ship or two and star fortress and uh, ground batteries, preferably you know, even a stellar converter if you want to encounter fleets of this size. Star bases are really only good in the early game and not that good even in them because you can just drive next to them and board them because they're stationary and they don't have that many marines. So you never should, never should trust your defense on any star base. Star base and a missile base is a solid defense already, especially in the early game. Because only a few the Mersons are probably only the one of the few races that can counter by shooting missiles down. Hello Proxima, we'll go to Yarak just because so if they're trying to go there, no they're retreating so far far away. Proxima, hello. Yeah, pretty crappy colonies all around. No, I'm not interested in your crap crap meme armor. Let's go to Chrysland.
at least he had the balls to try to defend with a single destroyer. Yeah, this is recently colonized. Neutronium armor, iridium fusion, infinite, unlimited fuel supply and range. We'll put an outpost here. Just in case they destroy that. We don't want to have anything delay our inevitable genocide. Hello and goodbye.